Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. In this video, we're going to solve this really interesting and relaxing exponential equation. So 1 to the x plus 10 to the x equal to 100 to the power x. On the first side, this is like very hard equation. We have all different bases. We have every time this x right here in our exponent as our power. So 1 to the x, 10 to the x, 100 to the power x, all different bases. But this equation like a really relaxing and a lot of students find a, 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 a lot of really interesting rules right here. So I hope you will enjoy my solution. So first of all, we have really important moment with this 1 to the power x. A lot of students confused with this 1 to the x. They don't know what to do with this. But I want to tell one that 1 to the x equal to 1. Doesn't matter of this x. Doesn't matter what a power. So 1 to the power 10, 1 to the power 100 equal to 1. Of course, I want to touch right here our infinity. So 1 to the power infinity. I just I don't want to write it right here. So this is like a school equation, exponential equation. So let's solve it according to our school school knowledge. Let's don't touch our higher higher mathematics element right here. So 1 to the x equal to 1. And of course, we can easily write that our x is real number. Yeah, so we just wanted to protect ourselves from from mistakes. So x is a, is a real number. Yeah. So if you're talking about 1 to the x equal to 1, x equal to real number. So let's rewrite our expression. So 1 plus 10 to the x equal to 100 to the power x. So from this expression, we have this one, which is really great because right now we, we don't have exponent. We have like a really interesting constant. We have our 1. So uh, my, my uh, suggestion to this uh, ex equation, we just need to create a same base. And this is really interesting because 10 and 100, it's really great numbers. We can easily write this 100 as, as 1 plus 10 to the x. And this 100 can be written as 10 square to the power x. Yeah, so we can easily write it to the power x, sorry, yeah, to the power x. Okay, this 100 is our 10 square. And what is the next step? We need to know about the rule of interchain. This is really important rule. I just take my red pen real quick. So if we have a to the power m raised to the power n, we can write it, of course, as a product a to the power m times n. And of course, if it, of course, that it's a product, we can easily change our position. So n times m. And of course, we can write it as a to the power n times m. So we can easily swap these, these powers in both cases, in this one, in this one, right here. We can easily swap our powers and let's do this right here. So let's swap this two and let's swap this, this x. If we do this, we have like our one plus 10 to the power x. So one plus 10 to the power x equal to 10 to the power x, of course, square. Yeah, so this is our expression after these two simplifying steps. And right now 10 to the x, 10 to the x, let's write a substitution because we have like our x, for example, 10 to the power x equal to let's go with, I don't know, let's go with y. And of course, y need to be positive. This is really important moment because as we know, our exponential function, this is like increasing function in our case, and of course, always positive. So something like that and always positive greater than zero. So as you can see, greater than zero. Okay, so after substitution, we have like y square minus y and minus one. Yeah, so minus y minus one equal to equal to zero. And as you can see, we have a quadratic equation, which can easily be solved because classic quadratic equation. So y first and y second equal to minus b plus minus of so our formula. I write it. I just want you to understand maybe a lot of a lot of uh, students from school watch my videos. So our quadratic formula b square minus 4ac over over 2a. So our, our formula and of course our abc. Let's write it. So our a equal to one, our b equal to minus one and our c equal to minus one. Okay, okay. So our formula abc and we solved our quadratic equation. So let's write it. We have like y first and y second equal to so minus b it's one plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac. So we have like b square minus 4ac, which is equal to one minus four times one and times minus one and all over two times one. Yeah, let's simplify this a little bit. So we have like one plus minus square root of what number? Of course, one plus four equal to five. So one plus minus square root of five over two. So we have our other solution to our quadratic 
quadratic equation. But of course, this is one second, one first and one second, and we need to find two cases. So first case, y equal to one plus square root of five over two. And of course, the second case, y equal to one minus square root of five over two, because we have plus minus right here. So we need to solve two, two cases. But one really important moment, this is our y, y first, which is good. And this is our y second. But if you look closely, we had a substitution that our y is greater than zero. Yeah, we had a substitution right here. And I explained right here with the exponential function, if this is increasing function and does not intersect with this with this zero. So as you can see, no point of intersection. So always, always positive in this part on the top. Yeah. So but this number one minus square root of five, this is our negative number because we have one minus square root of five, square root of five is greater than square root of four, which is two. So we have like, this is greater than one minus one minus two over two, which is negative, which is negative number. So this one is negative. And we from here, we reject, reject this root reject this root. If you're interested in complex number, you can easily solve it in a complex number, but we are interested in in real number root. So let's go to our one plus square root of five over two. So we have like y equal to one plus square root of five over two, but 10 to the x equal to y. So instead of this y, let's put this 10 to the x. So we have like 10 to the x equal to one plus square root of five over over two. Okay, 10 to the x equal to one plus square root of five over two. And let, let's solve this. Let's solve it step by step. First of all, let's take log from both sides. Yeah, so let's take log because we have exponent. So log 10 to the x and on the left hand on the right hand side as well. So log one plus square root of five over over two. So log on both sides. then this x jump right here. So we have x times log 10 equal to log one plus square root of five over two. One really important moment, this log 10 equal to equal to one. And right here, we can easily write it in another way because we have a division. And we know that log of a division of a fraction equal to log of a numerator minus log of the numerator. So from here, our x will be equal to log of this one plus square root of five log one plus square root of five minus log two because this is our denominator log 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 two and of course we can easily express this is in another way but i find approximately solution to this question for you x approximately equal to 0 0.2 i i write it in in my calculator so x approximately equal to 0 0.2 okay this is solution. This is my explanation, maybe a, lo a long video, but I try to um, explain it for you step by step. So really important question. And I try to explain step by step. I hope you understand this, this explanation. So if you still have any question, write a question in the comment. Maybe you have like uh, another, another solution, which is really great because a lot of students solve it in their own way. They find a fast solution to this question. And I'm going to explain this solution for you. This is my explanation, of course. If you have your suggestion, write your suggestion into the comment section. So thank you for your time and have a great day. Of course, let's spend one minute. Let's try to solve it real quick step by step. So here is our question. Here is our question. First of all, one to the x. We know that in real numbers, one to the x equal to equal to one. Yeah, first step. Second step, rule of interchange, which is really great because and uh, maybe a lot of students see this quadratic equation. And this is a really important information for you to create this quadratic equation with this substitution. Yeah, this is maybe the main difficult case because right now we have a quadratic equation. And we can easily solve this quadratic equation, but we need to go to it step by step. And we need to create this quadratic equation, which is maybe for part of student, this is not an easy question, but you need to you need to train this, this ability to create this quadratic equation or to see this quadratic equation, this is more, more like difficult. If you see quadratic equation, you create this with this substitution, then quadratic equation, two cases, but for, never forget about this second case, because always this second case will be negative. This is how quadratic equation works. Yeah, one positive, one negative. A lot of times it, it works. One positive, one negative. Solving quadratic equation is positive, and we have our solution. So I hope you understand everything. If you still have any question, write a question into the comment section. And I hope you're you're doing well. Thank you for your time and.
Learn how your mathematics with me, I really appreciate it. So thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.